My name is Judah Atkins, and I was born February the 5th, 2005. Um, I was born into a family of three, and I've grown up in the church my whole life. Growing up in the church uh, definitely makes you different. Being a Christian kid makes you different from every other kid. And even being the son of the pastor even makes you even more different. Growing up in the church, I knew every single story there was to tell about the Bible. Even when someone's like talking about a story they've never heard of, of a talking donkey. I've, I had to know every story, I had to know every detail and I could answer any Sunday school question you could possibly think of because I'd already been asked that question and I wanted to get it right. I had basically all the knowledge, but I knew of Jesus and what he did and I knew of Jesus's stories and I knew of what Christianity was. And growing up, my belief that what Christianity was was it's being a good person. It's being a good person is what Christianity is. It's going through life and doing nice things for other people. And in turn, you feel good and other people feel good that you did something nice for them. And because God likes nice things, he feels good about you. That's what I believed for a long time that if I did enough nice things in the world that I'd be validated and that I would have something to uh, cling on to say that I am a Christian and that I belong in the kingdom of heaven because I did this nice thing or I did multiple nice things. I had that belief of what, what Christianity was for about many years all the way up till when I was 12 and I started uh, I went to a uh, Christian camp uh, Kettleston Gospel Camp and there I was during service and I was thinking, I want to take Christianity to the next level. I want to be the nicest person I could possibly be. And while I was there, I started worshiping and asking God, hey, what's this, what's the, what's the big next step? Because I'd heard all these stories of other people in their lives saying, this is what I've done for God. And this is how I've shown his love to other people. And I was like, well, that's what Christianity is. That's, that's how I show my Christianity to other people. And going through life, uh, that's what I did. And I was asking God at that camp, what's my, what's, my, what's my big step here that I can show the gospel through me and my good actions? And that's when I learned that Christianity isn't just about me doing what I believe is right or what is right. It's about Jesus, he, he died for me, and he wanted to die for me to take away my sin. He loves me so much that he chose to put himself on a cross, and that I have to just simply love him back. And it didn't matter if I was anybody else in the world, and I had a totally different life. He loved me the same. He loved me unconditionally, and that that honestly was such a such a it shook my belief system what Christianity was so much that it angered me I was angry with God of what I thought Christianity was I thought it was just being a nice person but he said no you I I you just gotta love me and I will love you as I always have and if you love me you are going to love others. And I was, I, I felt like my, uh, me being wrong in that, sort of, I had my pride taken away from me. And I remember after the chapel, after that, I was so mad with God. I went out to uh, a location where nobody else was and I just screamed and I was crying because I just, I was so mad with God and why he just loved me. I was mad at that. And I basically, after that, I was, I was still mad, but it took me an entire year of just thinking, of trying to deny that that, that, was, that was the pace of Christianity, that he just loves me so much. And 
I basically, one year later, uh, at a sermon uh, at my church, I remember the pastor saying a statement that I that really finally validated that he loved me so much that it wasn't about good works. He, the pastor said, "If you love God so much." you give your all to God and you want to truly be like Jesus you're automatically if you're going to love like Jesus and you're going to love Jesus you're going to love others you're going to love others the same way Jesus did you're going to treat others the way you want to be treated and it took me about a few like a few months of just thinking so it, it's just about God's love and his love for me. And that's why I was created, because he loves me so much. And it just com- it was just confirming for me that, his, his, that his, his love for me was so deep that it didn't matter what I did, how I acted. It didn't matter about my bloodline that I was the son of a pastor or I grew up in the church or I was surrounded by Christian friends and family. It didn't matter that I had known every single story. I'd memorized verses. It didn't matter about any of that. It just mattered that Jesus came down and he died for me because he loved me. And I'm so glad that I actually realized that now. And I'm glad that from a young age that I know that Jesus loves me so much that he would die for me. And it's not about my works. I'm Judah Atkins, and I am second.